Hello my fellow Rs and welcome back to another episode of A View From The Loft with me, P Block Scuds. And if you, uh, if you watched the last episode, uh, you'll notice that I'm still out, I'm still exercising, although at the moment I'm, I'm currently just uh, taking a quick break, uh, catching a breather. Um, but yeah, the last episode I talked about the 2010-2011 season, uh, the season we won the championship, a season I hold so dearly to my heart, uh, some great memories from that season. And uh, so in this video, um, one of those memories uh, I'm gonna talk about and, and show a load of load of photos uh, from the event. But basically after the uh, Watford game, um, me and my dad were fortunate enough to go to the uh, Player of the Year Awards, um, which was at the uh, Marlebon Hilton in, in London. And um, what a night it was. Uh, I mean, it, Going to a Hilton for the first time ever um, was a major thing for me, but um, to be, you know, sitting in with the players and you know having a really nice slap up meal was was awesome. Um, unfortunately, at the time we weren't crown champions, so um, there was no no trophy on on show. Unfortunately, um, but we still parted like we were champions because we knew eventually we would be given that that credit um, but yeah so the night started off me and my dad checked into our travel lodge because uh, we couldn't afford Hilton that's for sure uh, but yeah got ourselves doled up with the old suits and, and shirts and that and uh, headed on down you know a few drinks before dinner and that and uh, I mean the dinner was lovely I'd, I'd never ever had uh, salmon before I'm, I'm not a seafood fan or, or a fish fan um, but this this smoked salmon came out and it smelled like bacon and, I would, and I'm not very good with food anyway. I don't like to try stuff if I'm not sure. Um, but I tried it, really enjoyed it. Um, it was amazing. And then for mains, we had um, Hunter's Chicken on risotto. And again, never had risotto, and I'm not a massive fan of cheese, apart from pizza, of course. Um, lovely, lovely food. And uh, yeah, after that, they started dishing out the awards. And uh, the players got up, did their turn and everything. And then from uh, after that, that was when we got to mingle with the players, chat with them, have photos, and, uh, and yeah, so here's here's some photos from uh, from the uh, the after meal.
So yeah, as you can see, uh, it was great meeting the whole of the team. Um, obviously I looked a lot different back then, uh, but we are going back nine years ago. So um, yeah, I don't think I was even able to grow a hair on my face then, who knows. Um, but one of the, the funniest things was, um, so at the start of the night, we'd gone to this bar right by the entrance of the hotel and um, it was quiet down there. So we had a few drinks before we went upstairs and um, obviously as the night progressed on, we'd gone around and got the, the photos with the players and was chatting with different ones. Um, we noticed that some of the players had sort of disappeared and and I don't know, there was just a bit of a change in the atmosphere. So Simi Dad said, oh, sorry, should we go downstairs to that bar and just have a few quiet drinks down there? You never know, might might see some people. So yeah, all right, that kind of let's go. Lo and behold, most of the players were at this bar and so we ended up drinking with all the players. Um, it was, the, the maddest thing for me was, um, so Matt Connolly, um, he's actually the same age as me, uh, which I, I wasn't, too aware of at the time yeah so in actual fact um his birthday is the same day as my mate phil's um birthday as well um, who you'd have seen in different uh, pictures in, in previous videos so um so yeah he's a you know a, one of one of the champion win a championship winning players turning around to me and, and handing me a beer and i proper had a starstruck moment i was like for me oh, oh, fair, thanks thanks matt oh, oh yeah it was funny it was funny um to think that you know someone of the same age and I'm I'm stuttering and and starstruck over uh, yeah it was it was funny but yeah so um, we're drinking away with the players having a really good laugh um, I don't remember it at the time but I later see on one of my Facebook memories that I'd end up going to the toilet with Heidi Helgerson um, I don't know if that's a bit of a claim to fame I've had a piss next to Heidi Helgerson but hey ho um, but yeah so and then also down there was the likes of, of Kevin Gallen and Rufus Brevet and um, two of my most f the funniest things that happened with them two was at one point Kevin Gallen turned around to me and uh, and called me a see you next Tuesday uh, to which I replied Kev what do you mean um, the, if I am then, then so are you and he went yeah, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, and just started laughing and, and, and all that. And I think he grabbed, like, grabbed me in a headlock and, and whatever, because yeah, obviously by then the drinks were really flowing. And then the, the next one was um, uh, Rufus Brevet. So I had, as you can see, I had this pink shirt on and it was open slightly. And um, I think about three months prior to, to this do, I had got the QPR badge at the time done on my chest, um, which I'll, I'll show a picture of. And um, I remember Rufus turned, like looking at me and going, is that, is that a QPR tattoo? And I went, and I, I literally went, yeah. Like, it's, oh yeah, I got it done a little while ago. And he went, yes. Lent in, kissed my chest and went, come on you ours. And I was just blown away. I was like, Rufus Brevet has just kissed my chest. I mean, it's probably a little bit weird and a little bit wrong, but sod it, he's a legend. I'll, I'll let him do that. Um, so yeah, great, great night. And then, um, in the end we worked out that about three o'clock in the morning me and dad staggered back to our hotel um and it was a bit of a blur until the morning after and the morning after was hell um so so drunk so hungover oh my god but it was well worth it um so yeah just really wanted to uh to talk about that because that's probably one of my most famous uh sorry my, one of my most favorite qpr moments that wasn't on the pitch and um, yeah, definitely a night to remember. And um, yeah, it just summed up that season, really being able to do that with the players and, and having such a great night. But yeah, so, uh, but yeah, guys, anyway, um, thanks for watching. And um, if you've got any great memories that weren't on the pitch, uh, like, like going to a, an awards thing or, or you know, going to the training ground or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and um, we'll, we'll try and do something with that because I've got a few more memories that I want to share um, that aren't on the field, um, but they'll come at a later date when the time is right. Um, but yeah, if you've, uh, if you've liked this video, make sure you go and give it a like. If you haven't already, give it a subscribe. And don't forget to go and check out my Instagram page uh, where I've got loads of other stuff going on. And um, yeah, thanks again for all the love and support. And uh, as always, Come on, you ours.